one, go. And we're underway as the bots are attempting to score some points while in autonomous mode. And it looks as though the Built for Bill Robotics did place a cube into the node as well as the IRAM bots. We've got the bots all over the community trying to make some moves and make some plays. Let's see if this community, uh, this team can power up. Moving all around the community, the Built for Bill Robotics is trying to place a cone on the node, and they do. Moving around again, it looks like the Eagle Bots trying to place a cube on their node. I stand corrected. They've placed another cone on the node. And the IRAM bots have picked up another cube. In the interim, it looks as the Built for Bib Robotics team has placed another cube on the node. Now it might be up to the IRAM bots to try to link that station and make a major play. And they do. We continue to move around as time rolls down. We're under 60 seconds remaining. It looks like the Eagle Bots are attempting to put another cone on the node, and it looks like they have succeeded. The Bots are trying to line up. As we approach 30 seconds remaining. Can they? Will they? As we approach 10 seconds and the teams are trying to get on the charging station, and it looks like they have achieved success as time expires. If I may here into the future, I think the Blue Alliance will advance into the next round. As predicted, the Blue Alliance wins with a total of 83 points, 47 grid points, 30 charge station points, and 6 auto mobility points. Stand by as we've got a major battle coming up shortly right here in the community on the playing surface at the Albany James H. Gray Civic Center. 